Well, hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. My name is Mitchell Osborne. You can find me at MitchellOsborne.com. I'm a psychic medium. I read tarot cards, little armor cards. I talk to animals as a pet psychic animal communicator. And I also do mindfulness transformation coach using NLP, EFT. Um, let's see, NL, uh, NLP, what else do I do? Hypnosis, hypnotherapy. So this week, and this is the week of... Uh, August, today's the 8th, I'm recording this night, August 10th through the 16th. This is your tarot forecast and channel message. And the message this week is, um, if you've been watching for any length of time, I've been kind of telling you how I do the channel message. And I just say, okay, Spirit, what do you want me to say today? And they just showed me, actually I heard, hoist the sails. And then they showed me like the sails going up on a boat. And the message basically is for this week, the 10th through the 16th, hoist the sails up because the winds are very beautiful this week. So that just makes me feel like, and they show me that this is going to be a week of easy sailing. Whatever you try to do, the support's going to be there. The wind will be behind the sails. There will be that gentle push. You won't have to struggle with so much. Um, but... If you're going against the wind or you're not going with the flow, then that's where the struggle might come in. So when you hoist the sails, be willing to go with whatever directions they're going to take you. Now, obviously, if you use that, continue using that sailboat metaphor, you have a rudder and you can, you know, I think they call it tack or where you, you know, you work sideways to get where you want to go if you're not directly with the wind. But uh, that takes a little bit of maneuvering. It takes a little bit of energy. So if you want the, the smoothest, easiest sail this week, just go with the wind. Let the wind take you. Wind is air. And I just realized on my walk this morning, I was, I was walking a tiny little feather fell right down in front of me. I'm looking up and there's nowhere for it to come from. And then a little bit later, I see another feather. And I, I said, oh, okay, tiny little words. Because for me, feathers are about about air, about words, about your throat chakra, your clear audience. So your tiny little words can really make a difference this week. Um, so be conscious of that as you go with the flow of the air. All right, so let me pull three cards. One, what can you expect this week, August 10th through the 16th? How can you best navigate that energy? And then how will you grow? What might you learn? What you might be able to manifest? So the first card is what can you expect this week? This is Nine of Wands. So this is Sagittarius, Moon. Um, and this is usually like, okay, you're taking a break. You're taking a breather. And we can equate this back to the message I just said. You know, this person here has work to put up, eight swords, and then they're sitting there, eight, excuse me, eight wands, and they're sitting Sitting there with the ninth one. And for me, this card has always been you got a little bit more work to do, but you still got the energy to do it. But I almost feel like, you know what? He's just waiting to hoist a sail up on this final wand and just go with the flow, you know, that we can cross that finish line. So, yeah, what can you expect? Uh, a lot of hard work, but there is this respite. I think that's the way I'm using that word. There's this moment of rest, which again, right back to hoist the sail and just let the wind take you. Um, how can you best navigate this energy? <laughs> Five of Cups. This is Mars and Scorpio. And this is, you don't have to be a psychic to read this. This is like letting go of a lot of internal, emotional tears, frustrations, and worries. So as you take this break, once again, here are two people sitting down, not in a place of movement at all. You can't even say, maybe they're moving. No, they're sitting down. They're resting. They're waiting for the sails to go up and the wind to take them. So this, I would say, how can you best navigate it, release any of the emotional, you know, junk, trauma, energy that's been built up. And you know, that could be why the sails are there. So you can take this break. You know, let the river take care of you while you're releasing and letting go. And then how will you grow? What might you learn or what you might be able to manifest this week, August 10th? Sun strength, you'll come out stronger on the other end. And this is card number 19. So, and 19 bulls back down, 19 bulls to 10, 10 bulls to 1. So we've got a 9, a 5, and a 1 in that order. So 9, 5, 1, very dynamic masculine number. So interestingly enough, the numbers on the cards show us a lot of movement. Um, and the the the, the uh, original message was just you know chill. There's movement because it's masculine, but it's like you're just letting the sun, the wind take you, which is very feminine and and in, in, in suit, so to speak. So. All right, there's your message. It looks like the week will end off. You'll be able to build some strength, feel stronger with that beautiful sun energy by the end of the week. Um, so just hoist the sails. Allow yourself to go with that beautiful breeze, that wind, those messages, those words. And um, uh, Sunday night, every Sunday night, I either I alternate between a mindfulness um, and an animal communication. This Sunday night, if you get this before 7 p.m. on Sunday night the 9th, um, check it out on Facebook. 
And uh, Monday night, the 10th, V and I will be doing one card readings. Also keep an eye out. I'm going to be doing um, donation only for three card spreads for the American Heart Association. Every bit of the money I get is going to the American Heart Association because they're doing the virtual walk. And I'm like, I can do a virtual walk. I walk all the time. I just don't want to show up on a Saturday morning at 6 a.m. and walk with everybody. <laughs> but I'll, I'll walk on my own pace. So anyway, I have become like a coach and a, uh, or a team leader. So I'll be putting that out there between now and November 14th. Um, and that'll be a simple, you just drop a five, anything $5 and above in my PayPal, and then DM me where you want it to go, and I'm going to let you choose which three-card spread you want to do. Um, or you can make up your own three-card spread. All right, namaste. Bye-bye.